Hello, Vinyl Community, and anyone else watching this. I'm back. I can't believe it, but I'm back. Um, apologies for not being there a long time, life. I'm not going to go into it this time, all that stuff. I've been watching videos, commenting when I can. Um, way behind on everything, and um, you guys know, it's just life stuff happens sometimes. So um, I'm back. I'm going to try to stay back. I know I said that last time. I've already got one other video done. Oh, this one's going to be shown first. And um, I've got a couple more in mind for right now as well. So I'm going to try to get some up, stagger them. And um, hopefully most of you stayed with me. Um, I got to go to a record show a couple weeks ago and I wanted to make a video as soon as I got home and again things happened and I couldn't do it. So um, I'm going to show what I got at the record show, it was in Ithaca, New York um, a couple of weeks ago and um, do it quickly and um, see how it goes. So um, first thing I got. A nice copy of Bob Dylan's biograph. There is some tape around the um, corners. I'm not going to drag it off, but this thing is, the records are minty, minty, minty. And I got home and found out I already had it. <laughs> so if anybody needs a biograph, um, I've got an extra. If you don't know what biograph is, it's really the first box set. Um, people don't know this. This along with Eric Clapton's, although I think this came out first, was the first ever box set. This, somebody got the idea, hey, let's put out a greatest hits with some rarities and things on it. And this was the very first one. It's a really good album, but I already had it. Next up, Ringo's Bukus of Blues. Believe it or not, do not own a copy of this. Had one a long time ago. I gave it away as VCLT. It was um, Japanese and it was to John who collected Japanese vinyl and couldn't find one. And it was a flag series and uh, he needed it and I felt he needed it more than I did. So I have not had one since. Got one now. And it's in pretty decent shape. There's a little ring wear but record again is nice. I got it from a guy who just has mint things. Um, really nice. Collection of records. I collect these things. History of British Rock. Um, Sire put them out. Do, did not have this one, however. Um, and this one's cool because it's got Badfinger on it, among others. A couple of Apple artists. I think Mary Hopkins on here too. And it's rare to find Apple artists on any other label. They were very protective. So two records set. I think this is like third volume or something. Yeah, volume three. Again, I can only make 15 minute videos now, although I did buy a new camera that's probably worse than this one, but I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. This was cool. Um, saw this and I'll, I'll, there's a little story behind it, but this is a promo 12 inch of four songs from the Who's Missing LP. Which is really cool. I've never seen it before. It's going to sound great because all the grooves are spaced apart. There's your track listing. And, um, just, this is cool. And uh, these I all got from the same seller, by the way. And this will sound fantastic as well. Tom Petty, Listen to Her Heart, a promo 12 inch. That's all that's on here is Listen to Her Heart, which is one of my favorite Petty songs on the original Shelter label. Again, some ring wear, but very nice shape. Um, moving on to another seller. Now they'll be mixed, I think. Anyway, didn't have this one. The Ventures Psychedelics. I always try to buy Ventures, especially this period, the 66 to 68 period, when they got a little psyche and um, were trying to be anyway. So, this kind of stuff is pretty cool. So, the Ventures, Psychedelics. I'm not going to show records or anything this time. You guys know them anyway. This is cool because um, it's from the um, British Collector Series by Arista. Shiwadi Dottie. They're, I believe, first album. If they had more, I don't know. 
but they were a British sort of glam, 50s style glam band. Um, they had a minor hit in England with Hey Mr. Christmas, which might even be on here. Yeah, it is. Um, but this thing, I don't know if you can tell, is still sealed. So, this is about 76 probably, 75, 76. So, pretty cool there. Love imports from another guy I got. Um, I might be missing a couple things too. It was a couple weeks ago and I've used a couple in podcasts. But, uh, anyway, Carl Perkins on uh, CBS Special Products Murray Hill Records, but this is a UK import. No, it's not. This one's not an import. Um, but cool par Carl Perkins. I think this is a reissue of his first CBS Columbia LP. And very cool. I've been into rockabilly and Carl, of course, fits that bill amazingly well. Jack Scott stuff on Groove Records. This is definitely an RCA Bear Family import out of Germany. So very cool there. If you don't know Jack Scott, he did the original version of The Way I Walk, which um, just fantastic rockability tune. Brenda Lee, The Golden Decade. This one's on Charlie out of the UK. Two record set of her early stuff. Um, a lot of rockabilly on here and pop rockabilly, but still rockabilly. This goes, what year is this cover? Um, goes up to 66. So pretty cool. Song Dynamite on here is fantastic. Golden Decade by Peggy Lee. Still in Shrink. Don Covey on um, Edsel Records out of the UK. And he did um, Seesaw that Aretha Franklin covered. And um, what else did he write on here? Um, Suki Suki by Steppenwolf is his. If you don't know who he is. Very cool to get a nice import of that. And last but not least, as I was saying, um, I saw this Who 12 inch and I thought at the time, I think this a lot. I've never seen Two's Missing on vinyl. That was the second Rarities album in the U.S. that came out. Never seen a vinyl copy of it in my life. I go to the very next guy. And he's got Two's Missing. Never seen one. This to me was almost a grail. Just because I've always wanted it and I've never seen it. And there it is. It's just, it's not that different from the UK rarities, which you can find pretty easily, but the US on MCA, nice copy, an original copy of Two's Missing. Very, very happy to have it. Well, that's it. Those are my record show finds. I have so many finds that I'm going to start breaking it up into things and I'm not going to do a whole lot of recent finds videos at least for a while because I just have I could I could show you recent finds forever and it's boring so I'm going to try to break my videos up into other things um, categories that kind of thing for a little while and see how that goes. Anyway, it's good to be back. I hope you're still with me. Um, check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. My latest show is um, all about soundtracks. So anybody in the soundtracks, you might be interested in that. I also did a really cool scratchy final or old scratchy 45s episode not too long ago and they were but they were all cool 45s anyway check out my podcast it's great to be back hope all of you out there are doing well and um i'll catch you on another video really really soon i promise because i'm gonna make it <laughs> right now so again great to be back hope everybody is great and um 
talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.